to some Teddy Bridgewater discussion. I am joined now by Harrison Graham, the host of our of Chicago Bears, now here at Chat Sports. Harrison, let everyone know what's going on here with Teddy Bridgewater and the Chicago Bears. Yeah, so getting up to speed here, Tom. Lots of things going on for agency. Uh, the trade took him long went, enough to get going. Just went down. Yeah, it took long enough, but we have officially arrived. The report is that the Bears and Bridgewater are in talks. Now, I want to back up here a second, Tom. Okay. Because Ryan Pace, the Bears GM, said at the Combine mm -hmm. he wants to bring in competition for Mitchell Trubisky. Does Bridgewater fall into that category? Because to mm -hmm. me, if you're signing Bridgewater, it's costing – $25 million? I, I mean, maybe more, maybe it's less. But if you bring in him, to me, you're saying he's your starter. Because I don't think you shelve even $15 million for a guy who's going to be competition or potentially even back up Mitchell Trubisky. Now, I'm not saying they can't let Trubisky compete for the job. But to me, if the Chicago Bears bring in Teddy Bridgewater, they're saying – this is our guy, at least for the next couple of years. That's what that tells me. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. I know you're a big yeah, Bridgewater the, guy. I am a big Teddy Bridgewater fan. The number that I think was thrown was around $21 million. Is that correct? Somewhere in that upper 20 range. I mean, to me, if you pay that much, he's got to be your That's starter. not backup money. No. Like, the max backup money, I think, is around $15 million. Yeah. $21 million is, hey, we're going to make this guy our starter. It's actually a really cheap deal for a starting quarterback. Yep. If the Bears do go that route with Bridgewater, A, I think they actually got pretty damn, damn good value. Yeah, and I think here the thought process is here too. Okay, we get Teddy in the low 20s because mm -hmm. keep in mind, they're pretty cap strapped too. Mm -hmm. The Bears don't have a lot of flexibility. They can cut Leonard Floyd, which will save him $13.2 but otherwise not a ton of money uh, on the table for the mm -hmm. Bears. But if you get Bridgewater at 21, you're saying, okay, we've got the defense in place. Mm -hmm. We've got good enough skill players, David Montgomery, Allen Robinson, uh, Anthony Miller, some pieces, need some help on that offensive line. But I think the Bears' approach is we've got everything except the quarterback. Can we get a quarterback in here that just won't screw it up? And I think Dave, Teddy Bridgewater fits into that category, right? Like, he's yeah. a smart decision maker, doesn't force the issue. Yeah, he's never going to be a guy that throws for 300, 350 yards a game, mm -hmm. but can he be Alex Smith? Can he, I think he'd be better than Alex Smith. I, I think he can be the game manager that – Mitchell Trubisky simply wasn't last yeah. year. I, I think yeah. he can fill that role. For me, it's pretty simple. I'm curious what you think here, Harrison. I'm taking Teddy Bridgewater every single time. For what we know right now, it has to be Bridgewater. Yeah. Now, I do think Trubisky has a ceiling that could be fairly high. He's mobile. He's got a strong arm. We've seen flashes. It's just not consistent, man. Mm. Very, very inconsistent player in the young part of his career. The one thing Teddy Bridgewater is, he's very consistent. His ceiling's not super high. Mm. But his floor is pretty high. Bad Teddy Bridgewater is much better than bad Mitchell mm. Trubisky. I don't think there's any doubt about that. Now, we will keep you updated on everything around NFL free agency. If you are not already for the 1,500 plus watching right now, hit the subscribe button. Make sure notifications are turned on. A lot of you guys think you might. You might not actually have those notifications clicked on. We're going to keep you updated on everything around free agency. We just took you through the chaos that was the DeAndre Hopkins trade. We'll keep you updated here more than anyone else on YouTube. And then Harrison, you've got yourself a Bears channel as well. Yeah, go ahead and subscribe over there, you Bears fans. You see the link below, youtube.com slash Bears now. Plug that into your URL. Boom, it'll bring you to that page. Hit that big red subscribe button. I'll keep you guys updated throughout the offseason on what's going on with the Bears. Teddy B becomes official. You best believe we will be on top of that over there. It's YouTube.com slash Bears now. We've got you covered throughout the offseason and on into the 2020 NFL season. All things Chicago Bears. It's at YouTube.com slash Bears now. The future of Teddy Bridgewater is going to be very interesting. We'll talk more about that as well. We'll also get to some of your comments throughout the show today. From Adam, will slash should the Bears trade Mitchell Trubisky now? And to whom? That was kind of the next area I was going to go, Tom, because I mentioned, let's say you do sign Bridgewater for $21, 22000000 million. That pretty much wipes out your cap if you're Chicago. So, do you cut Leonard Floyd? Do you see if someone will trade for Mitch Trubisky, someone who's willing to take him on as like a backup project who could become a starter? I don't know. I think that's an intriguing idea. I'd have to come up with some teams in mind. If you have any off the top of your head, I'd love to hear. I, maybe like a Vegas as a team, if they decide to keep uh, Derek Carr, maybe you bring in Trubisky as a, a high-ceiling backup option. It's awkward to figure out what the Bears can get for Trubisky. 
I think you get like Rosen a, went for a second, but who's going to do that with this market? Yeah, I think you're lo you're hoping for like a fourth, probably, mm -hmm. is what you would be looking at. Can you get a fourth? The Bears don't have a third this year. Mm -hmm. I think if someone offered a third, they would jump on that. I don't think they're getting a third. I, yeah, I mean, I think maybe a day two pick for a team that could try to develop him a little bit more, a team that liked him. I don't know. I just, uh, could, could a team like the Patriots have interest trying to bring him along? Could a team like the Packers behind Rodgers? What about, what about I, I think, like the Chargers? I, I think uh, maybe L.A. I think that type of market might be the route you're searching for. But the Pittsburgh, market's, maybe. The market's not going to be good for him. Yeah, maybe, no. maybe Pittsburgh. So you're not going to get much. We'll if you've moved see. on from Trubisky, like, which it appears it could be going in that direction, you're never getting close to what you gave up for him. <laughs> like, no, you're, you're not. And, and you've, you, but you've moved on past yeah, that at you've, this point. At, at that point, you're acknowledging it didn't work out. We're moving mm -hmm. forward with Teddy Bridgewater or whatever quarterback it may be. Yeah, so I, I don't really have a great answer for you on that. And it's, really, it's a really good question. And it's Tampa, a good... maybe, if they move on from Winston. <sighs> what, if, what if Tampa signed Brady and brought in Trubisky as a back? Is that too much at the quarterback? Is that too much going on there? Too many moving no, parts? No, I don't think so. Um, maybe it maybe it makes some sense. I'm not I'm not sure. I think it's a it's a great it's question tricky. to have there. Now we do have a whole bunch of NFL jackets on sale. For this one might be a better deal than you can get for Trubisky. Head over to chatsports.com/nfljacket. That is chatsports.com/nfljacket. That link's in the description and the comments of this video as well. All types of teams. they got some Bears ones for you guys as well. Talked about Houston today in light of the DeAndre Hopkins trade. All types of teams, all types of colors and styles and fits and, and everything. Up to 60% off. Now, Harrison, you made note earlier, not all of them are 60% off. Up to 60% yes. off. A lot of them are at least 40 to 50%, mm. with uh, some of them being up to 60% off mm. as well. You're kind of in that perfect you know, pullover jacket weather right now. Spring's mm -hmm. starting to come, but it's not too hot yet, so go ahead and order one of these today. All right, let's get to some more questions here coming in from Tyler. Teddy Bridgewater to Allen Robinson. It's interesting because Allen Robinson, he's got some vertical downfield threat ability. He's a good jump ball catcher. That's not really Teddy's game. I mean, he's an underneath safe quarterback. Um, I think he, if you bring in Bridgewater, you need to get a tight end as well mm -hmm. because you need that safety valve for him. Uh, or an underneath type of slot you could receiver. Spend, uh, it's not a great it's not a great tight end class, but you could sign somebody or draft or, or, or somebody, draft somebody second round. round too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because I think you need Bridgewater needs a safety net player if yeah. you're going to bring him in. Allen Robinson's great; he's going to be a good fit with Bridgewater. But you need that guy. Okay, third and four. How can I get six yards? The Bears don't really have that player right now. Yeah, I think Bridgewater this past year was one of the most check down prone quarterbacks in the NFL. He did not go deep. He doesn't force the issue. He did, but he was effective in that role. And yep. before that gruesome injury, he was the deep ball was better in Minnesota. I will say, if Bridge, so, we we'll get a chance to see. Yeah, it. if Bridgewater ends up in Chicago, I love that for David Montgomery. Mm -hmm. We're talking about a guy who caught the ball extremely well out of yeah, the backfield at Iowa State. I think helps Tariq Tariq, Tariq I think Cohen. It, it helps Tariq Cohen suck. So I think the running backs become much more involved in the passing game if Bridgewater is the quarterback in Chicago in 2020 because. You can utilize both those guys in a lot of ways. You can line them up in the slot and uh, get the ball out fast and let those guys make plays in space. All right, some more comments coming in. Russell, should the Bears trade Mitch for Minka Fitzpatrick? You can take this one. <laughs> That'd be awesome. It's not going to happen. Uh, first of all, the Minka Fitzpatrick trade from Pittsburgh last year is one of the be looking like one of the best trades in quite some time because he single-handedly kept them in the playoff hunt by himself. I don't think that's an exaggeration last year. He was that good on their defense. Guys, the bottom line with Trubisky on a trade, you're hoping for a day two pick, probably settling for a fourth if uh, if you do sign Teddy Bridgewater or any other quarterback to become your starter. And I'm not convinced that the Bears do trade Trubisky if they bring in a guy. They'll explore it, but I don't think they're going to force a trade. Ryan Pace is a big fan of him, so we will see. Obviously, nothing's official with Bridgewater. Discussions are ongoing, but that's kind of where we sit right now. From Carson Wingfield, he says, Mitch to the Patriots. You mentioned that one. Um, it's kind of a reclamation project uh, that kind of fits them, right? Like, yeah. it's bringing a guy who drafted in the first round, give up a fourth for him, classic Pats. They get good value for a guy who went uh, number two overall a few years ago. I could see it. Um, I don't think anything like that would happen until Tom Brady news is clarified. Yeah, I, I, I don't exactly think right. I don't. I don't see the Patriots making any kind of – quarterback move even of 
of the backup sort until this Tom Brady mm -hmm. situation is resolved. So keep those comments coming here. Again, the latest around Teddy Bridgewater is Bridgewater and the Bears are in talks yep. for a contract that could, in theory, and probably would if the money around 21 is right, take over for Mitchell Trubisky in Chicago. If I'm Teddy Bridgewater, I'm only leaving New Orleans if someone guarantees me I'm their starting quarterback. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, because you could just stay in New Orleans one more year and be the starter next year. Because I, I do believe that Bre this will be it for Breeze. Mm -hmm. I think he's going to give it one more go. And then they can spin all they want. Oh, T Taysom Hill could be the heir apparent to Teddy Bridgewater. Do any of us really believe that? Like, do, are we sold that Taysom Hill can be a starting quarterback? Because I'm not. I am flat out in the I don't think that's realistic uh, camp. So I think Bridgewater's got to weigh his options carefully. If a team like Chicago, who's in win now mode, says, hey, we're going to sign you and you're our guy, yeah, he should do it because he'll get more money and he's guaranteed the starter. But if they're saying, hey, we'll pay you $16 million to mm -hmm. compete with Trubisky, do you really want to do that if you're Teddy? Mm -hmm. I don't know if That's I fair do. Fair question.